Boy, am I excited to be doing this look. Once again, Dipika is part of an epic film with an epic look, and of course, I had to jump on and recreate it. It's not a very complicated look at all, but it's so beautiful at the same time. But this look is more so about the dressing and the jewelry, so I have gone all out with it and I've teamed up with some amazing jewelry designers. It is all artificial jewelry, so anyone can get their hands on it. It is beautiful stuff. So I will leave details of everything down below for you in the description box, so please check it out. Go follow them on Instagram. Honestly, their work is amazing. Like, I honestly wouldn't have been able to do this look without their jewelry. Make sure if you like this look, then please give this video a big thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, and also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy this look as much as I do, guys. I honestly feel like the queen herself um, rocking all of this. But yeah, for now, enjoy the tutorial. Mwah. First things first, I'm going to mattify and prime the skin. And I'm going to do that with my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. So I'm just applying this all over the face, mainly in my T-zone. And then I'm just going to rub this in. The skin of Dipika's looked very kind of, yeah, just matte and perfect so this is what's going to help us achieve a nice perfect base and then to correct and conceal any um, dark areas or any problem areas around the skin i'm using my nars radiant creamy concealer and this is in the shade uh biscuit yeah it's got a slightly orange tone to it so it's just going to help cover up any discoloration around the face For foundation, I wanted to go for something quite lightweight, but still something that was going to help us achieve a really nice flawless face. So I've mixed my MAC Face and Body and my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation together, just that so that the foundation doesn't go on super heavy, it's not like super full coverage or anything like that. And I'm also going to blend the foundation into my skin, so I'm buffing and blending it in rather than stippling it. So normally, in literally 99% of my videos, I stipple my foundation on to achieve a full coverage but I've buffed it in to give it a bit more of a lighter more soft kind of finish more like skin like and then I'm just going over it with a damn beauty blender sponge just to pick up any excess product and really work it into the skin that little bit more for concealer, I'm mixing my NARS um, Matte Full Coverage Concealer that comes in a pot in the shade Ginger. And this is really, really nice. And like I said, it is a full coverage concealer. So this is just going to go underneath my eyes. And then because the consistency of that concealer is quite matte, and for me it can be a little bit drying underneath my eyes, I'm just going over that with my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer, also just to help brighten further. And then I'm going to use the same concealer to, to highlight areas around my face. Um, it's not like a really extreme kind of contour and highlight for this look. Um, that's why I've chosen to use a concealer that's really nice and lightweight, but it's still going to give me good coverage. So I've just taken this on all of the usual areas that I like to highlight and then I'm blending this in with a damp beauty blender sponge and normally I use brushes guys but this time I'm really wanting to make sure all the products are worked into the skin and they look really nice and light and then I'm just going to cream contour again just to give a really nice natural feel to the skin I'm using a Smashbox contour stick or like a contour pencil and it's really nice and easy to use and this is just going on the hollows of the cheekbones, the uh, temples of my head and then also just down the sides of my nose and just creating a little ball at the tip of my nose because Dipika's nose is super cute and I just want to try and replicate it a little bit and then I'm just going to blend this all out again with my damp beauty blender sponge and you can see that this product blends out super nice and super easily. We're just going to achieve a really nice natural finish to the skin. So moving away from all of the cream products now, we're going to move on to some powders. And I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder just to set the highlighted areas all in place and just to mattify a little bit as well. So this is just going underneath the eyes and I'm literally just working the powder into the skin with the sponge so that it doesn't look heavy or cakey. And then I'm lightly setting the rest of my face makeup with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Medium Dark and I'm really, really lightly just buffing this all over over the rest of the skin just to set it in place and mattify and then for a slightly further contour and a powder contour I'm using my Rodeo um, Insta Glam contouring powder in the shade 04 and I'm really really lightly just going over where we've already 
contoured with cream um, and this is just to further enhance it felt like I needed a little bit of warmth into the skin so I'm going in with my Ofra Cosmetics bronzer really really lightly just over where I've already contoured and that is literally it just a bit of warmth to the skin moving on I wanted to cream highlight because it gives a really nice natural um, finish to the skin but it's still nice and intense and visible so I'm going in with the iconic London cream highlighter pigment stick I think it is and I'm just taking this on the top of the cheekbones and then I'm just buffing this out with a brush now this is one product I know works over a powder so I really really like it for that reason it doesn't get really weird over your foundation and powders and all of that so yeah it just works and you still glow so it's super cute then for brows I'm taking a couple of the benefit brow products I first used the benefit browsing so it's like the little kit and I'm just taking the powder from it and I'm just brushing this through my brows and then I decided to move over to the benefit goof proof pencil just to help um, fill out my brows a bit quicker and also to help me achieve um, better definition and shape with my brows as well so I think I preferred using the pencil over the powder but still using both of them worked too moving on to the eyes I'm taking this paint pot by Mac and this is in the shade groundwork it's a really natural like skin tone kind of shade for me, it kind of matches my dark circles a little bit. It just kind of blends in with that. Um, but the shade is just a little bit, it's got a bit of like a torpy kind of finish to it. Um, maybe like a little grey undertone. But yeah, it's a really good product to use all over the eyes as a base. Or you could use it on its own if you wish. But yeah, I've just applied this onto the eyes and then taken it through the crease. And then I've gone back in with my contour powder that I used earlier. So the Rodeo one. And I'm just taking this over the top of that paint pot and also through the crease and along the lower lash line so a really natural kind of eye makeup so that's literally it for eyeshadow and then for liner I'm just taking this buxom black pencil in the shade call me and I'm lining my eyes with this and I'm just taking a really thin line across my lash line and then I'm going in with an angled brush and just buffing the edges out and kind of just like pushing the product up so that the lash line looks a little bit smoky but we're not creating a really thick line whatsoever and then just back in with the pencil on the outer corner and then using the brush again an angled brush it's very important to kind of just pull the product out on the eye to create a really soft wing and that's literally it and then taking the pencil again just along the lower lash line um mostly on the outer corner of the eye so out of third as you can see I haven't taken the pencil the whole way along and then again just went in with the brush to soften then using the black pencil liner along the lower lash line and then whatever black pencil is left on the brush you're just going to kind of extend that lash line on the inner corner of the eye just literally placing the angled brush on the inner corner and yeah making an extended line um, and then just using the same shadow that we used over the lid running it along the lower lash line to just to soften up that black liner and make the look a little bit softer then for mascara I've got the L'Oreal false lash sculpt mascara this is definitely one of my favorite mascaras ever and because we're not using falsies with this look I felt like this mascara would be perfect just because it builds up your lashes really really nicely it gives you long lashes curly lashes thick lashes it does it all and you don't need lashes for this well falsies for this look so this just went on top and bottom lashes then for the lips I'm lining my lips with my MAC well lip liner this is such a perfect like your lips but better kind of nude lip pencil so I've lined my entire lips with this and then I also felt like I should color in my lips with this pencil as well because just the shade is perfect and then I went in with a L'Oreal matte lip paint in the shade 210 Dead Lips, which is funny. Um, but yeah, I just applied this all over my lips and then I patted it in, working the lip pencil into that um, liquid lipstick and then went back over with the lip liner. But this, guys, is the finished look. I really hope you like it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you do. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.